everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with the December Show Us Your Sheet Load for 2021. Every month, Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl provides a um, guide and cutting sheet for a sheet load of cards. And uh, this month, the total number of cards is nine. And of course, I'm still going through this wild saffron uh, paper pad from Kane Company, and it's it's getting pretty thin. I'm uh, kind of excited about that. Um, so I picked three sets of cards, uh, 12 by 12 sheets, to go through this set, and uh, I pretty much stuck to the the recipe that uh, Alicia gives, but I just rounded some corners on the pieces at the bottom. On this one, I wasn't paying attention and I used the wrong size, so everything was the half inch corner round and uh, these all were the quarter inch uh, rounder. And here's the round, the quarter rounder that I use. It's the memory keepers we are memory keepers crocodile chomper and um it has a quarter inch and a half inch so i just rounded the corners on them and i used um some craft envelopes um craft cards and envelopes i lined the inside of the cards uh, because i'm sure you could write on this craft card stock but i thought it would be a little bit nicer just with uh a cream colored uh, inside for writing on the cards. And I got the craft card stock from the Paper Studio. This is a Hobby Lobby brand. And uh, this was a hundred pack of cards and envelopes in white, craft, black, and a cream color. And uh, I've already used up all the cream colors in that. And let's see what else. Um, I was originally going to use another set that I had of cards and envelopes that was a cream color, but it they were too, they weren't creamy enough. It was just too stark of a, of a close to white color, and I didn't want that, uh, even though I did use um, white on the sentiment. So that's why I chose uh, this craft color. And those other cards, though, were different sizes. They were five and a half by four instead of five and a half by four and a quarter. So I cut all of my pieces to that size. And then I decided, no, I didn't want to do that. And uh, so I went to uh, the five and a half by four and a quarter cards and envelopes in craft. And so it, um, it made it... Oh, it's, they're a little bit longer in this direction by a quarter of an inch, right? And so that's why it's not an even uh, border all the way around, but they still look great. You know, it's not what I intended, but they still came out great. I used some sentiments from, uh, actually from Alicia at Call Me Crafty Owl. In one of her videos a few, a few months ago, she, um, provided some sentiments that you could print out and then cut out. And I just used some oval dies and then some oval scallop dies from Spellbinders that I've had in my stash for quite some time. And then I wanted some additional embellishment and I've run out of a lot of my enamel dots. Uh, I have sequins, I have plenty of sequins, but I didn't want to use uh, sequins. I'm not crazy about sequins on cards. But I do have this Liquid Pearls in Lemon Yellow, and it's a golden kind of light yellow color, but I think it, it was suitable for this. And uh, I just squeezed out some various size dots and then patted it down like that to flatten them out. And I think it works as, as, uh, as an embellishment. Uh, you know, these type of cards with this kind of paper doesn't really require a whole lot of embellishment. It doesn't, it doesn't need it, I think. But uh, but I think that worked out. Those liquid pearls uh, worked out. Oh, look what I did here. <laughs> this is what happens when you're not paying attention or you're distracted. 
so I put this sideways and I am positive I could just pull this up and reposition it. Yeah, but I'm not going to. Because <laughs> then I'd have to move this and then I put some some paper underneath here so that it wouldn't sort of, you know, it sit up and, you know, because of this here. But uh, yeah, that looks good like that, huh? I mean, it doesn't look bad or too different. I didn't even notice it up until just now when I was showing this to you. Did I do that with any of the other ones? No. So anyway, those are my cards. I did most of them in birthday sentiments. Something, some of them says sending blessings, you're in my prayer. And that's my set of nine cards for uh, the December Show Us Your Sheet Load. Uh, we're going to start a new year in 2022. And um, she's going to announce her team for the first six months of 2022 and I'm look looking forward to doing some more sheet loads when she publishes them um, and I've enjoyed this since June 2019 when she first started this um, those are my my cards folks thank you so much for stopping by I really appreciate you I hope uh, everyone has a great holiday this year and year end. And don't forget, there's a whole team of people, if you look down in the description, that are um, producing uh, cards as well from the sheet load. So take a look and click on their links and send them some uh, love. And uh, I appreciate you so much. Thanks so much for stopping by, everybody. Bye.